What's our what's our funny faces? Hmm. What's your funny face? One more minute. One more more minute and 30 seconds. What's teaching on today? Trust. Hmm? Is God trustworthy? Hey folks, we're coming on live in just 30 seconds. Don't, don't you like the spontaneous? Just like, oh yeah, you're always like that. You're just like, I can hardly keep up. It's, it's, uh, I am. Yes. I, it, sometimes it's irritating, drives me nuts, but I love you. I love you. Hey folks, we have the big reveal today. What's the big reveal? You have no clue, do you? Okay, the big I know what the big <laughs> that's not your job, right? The big reveal is not your job. Guys, we're going live in just a few. Hope you guys are ready. Anybody ready? Can't see nobody's faces. Can't see. Hello? Is anybody, <laughs> anybody there? Hello? Come this way. <laughs> it's all wrong. It's all wrong. Wait, wait, stop, everybody. All right. All right. Everybody, stop. We're gonna, everybody, we're gonna go to the left on my on my count. Three, two, one. <laughs> and the right. <laughs> Lean on me. Oh, geez. When you're not okay. okay. Praise the all Lord right. Jesus. It's it looked really Weird in the beginning. Hi, everyone. Hi, Zakowskis. Hi, Dr. Nelson. How art thou? Hey, hey. We're thou greatest. I, I can't hear the Zakowskis. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Hello? Hello? I can't hear you. I can I can see you, but. <laughs> All right. Hey, everybody. We have the big reveal today. Super excited. Hey, Crystal, good to be with you. Thank you, Ronald, for joining us. We have the big reveal today. It's going to be really exciting. Now, if you're already an Unlocking Your Book member, then you kind of got a sneak a peek. You got a sneak a peek. Yesterday, we gave a sneak peek. I gave it, it was pretty long, actually. I probably went for about 45 minutes or 50 minutes or so. Okay, we're going to drop the Zakowskis till they can figure this out. Um, and we're going to be showing the whole wide world the big reveal. And the big reveal is a small part of the big reveal. And the big reveal is something that we give. And Chrissy's like, what? Yeah, okay. I need a map. Yeah, this is like <laughs> dyslexic listening. Okay, that's what this is. Okay. Wait a sec. Chrissy, you feel bored? Because we no. can mix we can mix things up. Okay. Not that's bored. Right. No, no. Whoa, okay. stop. stop. Okay. Because I actually have I have Donovan on the other line and we could go no. crazy. Not Donovan. D Rod. D Rod. Whoa. D Rod. D Rod yeah. in the house. So we do have the big reveal today. And what the big reveal is, is we're going to be showing you, I'm going to be doing a demonstration about one of the things that you get with unlocking your book, which is a 
website. You actually get a landing page, a pre-order page, a blog page, an ebook page, and a sales page just by becoming an Unlocking Your Book mentoring member. And then if you're a publishing member, you actually get like even more than that. But we're going to reveal today the pre-order page and give you an idea what uh, it would look like for you if you have that that uh, pre-order page. So you don't have to go out and hire a developer. You don't have to figure out how to code a website. You don't have to, <laughs> yeah, uh, spend thousands of dollars. In, and honestly, the pre-order page that we're going to show you, you would probably spend somewhere between three or four thousand dollars unless you just went out and bought a template. And then when you bought the template, you would still have to hire a developer to change all of it unless you knew how to do that yourself. But the idea is, is we've done this for you. But we do have some things that we want to discuss and we want to cover and we want to go through uh, and we want before we get into the sneak peek. But we're going to give you a sneak peek today. So stay tuned. Uh, stay, stay tuned with us and um, be sure to let us know where you're watching from and please share this. I'm seeing people, people are excited. The big reveal. Um, it is really, really, really cool. And I really can't wait to get started in, with, with people next week. So next week we have a whole six lessons of uh, modules where I'm going to be doing uh, covering uh, mentoring and marketing specific on how to do your landing page and your ebook page, uh, your land, uh, your uh, sales funnels, uh, your uh, pre-order page, all of that. And then also on the 31st of March, we start publishing. We have over 100 people that are publishing with us. And so we're going to be showing you like the digital courses and everything else that you're going to be getting. But before we do that, we want we have a little devotion for you. So you have a devotion for us. Sweet. Yes. Mrs. Darcy. Yes, Mr. Darcy. Yes, Mrs. Darcy. Mr. Darcy. <laughs> All right, let's get right to it. Awesome. Okay. So we've been talking about making war on worry because worry hurts our intimacy with God. Hmm. And today we're going to talk about what moves mountains. Y'all super spiritual folk know what moves mountains, right? Our faith does. Well, what moves the mountain maker? Hmm. Trust. Hmm. Faith moves mountains oh. and our trust moves the heart of God. This mm. is what Jesus said. Don't worry or surrender to your fear for you've believed in God. Now trust and believe in me also. That's John 14, one in the Passion Translation. So from that verse, two amazing things stand out to me. One is not so amazing, actually. Fear is a tyrant and Jesus mm -hmm. is telling us you can't surrender to that. You mm -hmm. cannot surrender to your fear. But then also Jesus is asking for our trust. Wow. He said, now trust and believe in me. Wow. Mm. Trust is a beautiful dynamic in our relationship with God and worry disrupts that connection, that sweet connection that we have with him. Trust, I've heard it said, and I believe it is God's love language. We all have a love language. What's God's? When we trust in him, it mm captivates and moves his heart. We know this is true. We're like this with our own children, right? When my children are expecting me to move, no matter what it is, uh, nothing's going to stop me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Get out of my way. Get out of this mama's way. If my kids are expecting me to do something big or small, I'm going to make it happen. Something just kicks in. Yeah. So trust is so, so powerful because it moves God's heart and Jesus is asking for our trust. So there's so much we could say about the trust of God, but just in this little bit of time that we have today, I wanted to uh, talk about um, a beautiful truth that we see in scripture. So the question is, is God trustworthy, mm. right? He's asking for our trust. Is he trustworthy? We know he is. Come on. And here is why, because he is love. Mm -hmm. His trustworthiness is based on who he is. He mm -hmm. is love. It's not based on our behavior. First Corinthians 13 says love never fails. So God can never fail us. And one beautiful example of that is just in his name, his covenant name, Yahweh. The numerical value for Yahweh is the number 26. And it's made up of a 13 and a 13, which 13 is the number for love. So does it mean like love squared, like double love? Well, maybe <laughs> he's a lot of love, but um, the number 26 actually takes those two values for 13 and it makes the number 26 mean reciprocal love. So Dude, it's a, 
beautiful picture of how because God is love, he is fully expressed in his love towards us. So it's reciprocal love, hmm. his covenant love, his relationship love, like marriage that he has with us that is faithful. It holds on and on and on and on and on. There's a psalm in the Bible, very familiar because it's so repetitive. Hmm. Guess what it says over and over? His love endures forever. Psalm 136, guess how many times it says it? 26 times. That's a message from God's heart. My love mm. endures forever. You can trust me. I'm never going to fail you. I'm mm. never going to change. I've set my love upon you. So trust in me. Come Amen. on. I love that reciprocal love. And, you know, sometimes we, we can't necessarily see uh, God's hand. We can't necessarily always see the 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 tangible love of God in our, our life. And so in those moments, right, we're, or, you know, they're few and far, but in those moments, we trust his heart. Mm -hmm. We trust his heart and we stay, I love that. I, we stay in the reciprocal. We stay in the reciprocal uh, of his love. And even this morning, I was just, you know, I was meditating. I shared with folks earlier about, you know, we are connected to the vine and yes. we are his branch. So mm -hmm. I appreciate that. That's awesome. Reciprocal love. And so while you're, while you're writing and when you're writing and you feel writer's block and you're not sure what's coming next, or maybe you feel stuck, what you should be doing is you stay in a place of trust and you stay in a place of reciprocal love because your work's not done and your work's not finished. Well, we do have a, a lot more left in the show. We've got uh, marketing tips with the Jagowski's, uh, and we've also got the big reveal. So stay tuned. Appreciate you guys. Don't go away. More to come. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're back. That was amazing. Dude, did you see that hot chick? <laughs> I was like, I could hardly stand it. I was like, oh my gosh, we're gonna, we got to finish this show really, really fast. <laughs> okay. So, oh, it's so good to see the Zakowskis, yeah. and I can, I don't know what that was, but that was, it was like a Jedi trick that. <laughs> Anointing. I was Catholic. Whoa. Oh, okay. It was like, okay, okay. So everybody, just put your hand on your camera. We're gonna. Okay. And then Dr. Nelson in the house, you know, this, it, I'm, it feels like blues clues. She's in, she's in her thinking chair. Right. And she's getting, you know, blues clues. Do you guys know blues clues? Are you guys too young for blues clues? Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, I'm going to get in my, my thinking chair and uh, all right. Anyway, my handy dandy notebook. So today we have the big reveal and the big you you are not going to want to miss the big reveal today because it's it's small but it's big and the reason that it's small is because it's a teeny tiny itty bitty little bitty smidgen of the big part of everything that you get with unlocking your book we're showing you a splinter we're showing you a facet we're showing you one part of what you get with unlocking your book and the big reveal is the websites and the pages that we give you so we actually give you a landing page a pre-order page which is what we're going to cover today i'm going to actually do a live demonstration you're going to get to see an example and we're going to be using uh dr chrissy nelson she's the one right there to uh my left okay do that again <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna. <laughs> Chrissy, you're so you're so strange. Okay, oh, that was totally like Brady Bunch. You guys, I know. Yeah, no, we did it. what's up, guys? Oh, I, all right. We <laughs> this is what happens when you're on coronation, right? <laughs> you're just like, I really need to get out of the house, like right now, yesterday, tomorrow. Okay, so we're gonna be using we're using um, we're actually using. Uh, Dr. Christy Nelson, and then that really hot uh, girl that was here just sitting next to me a little bit ago, we're using them as case studies. That hot girl was my wife, by the way, in case one of you guys were 
uh, thinking about, you know, messaging her on Facebook. She's mine. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to be doing case studies. And today I'm going to be showing you the pre-order template, the pre-order page that you use when you're in the process of you just started printing your books and they, they're not ready to ship yet, but you want to actually get people that have been following you, walking with you, doing life with you, and they are ready to take the plunge on this low barrier offer of, you know, anywhere between five bucks, 10 bucks, 20 bucks, 25 bucks to buy your book and pre-order your book. So we're going to show you uh, the template that we give you uh, as an unlocking your book uh, mentoring member. And, but before we do that, we do have our very good friends right here. The, 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 oh, yeah. And the dogs go, and the dogs go wild. The dogs, go let out. The dogs out. Okay. They're uh, this big and they're so protective. They think that any noise, they're ready to be on guard. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I, I get it. I, t I get it. I have. Um, I have three huge dogs and they, they do the exact same thing. And, you know, yeah. sometimes I just, I want someone to take them away, but, uh, so <laughs> you guys have a marketing tip, right? So we do have a, we're going to do a two minute marketing tip with the Joukowsky. So stay tuned, get ready. Here we go. Hey, how are you? I absolutely loved um, Teresa's devotional today because it's about trusting in the Lord. And some of you will definitely need the trusting in the Lord before we tell you our marketing tip today. Because if you're not um, excited to talk live on video, um, you will need to trust in the Lord. But we are giving you guys a challenge. Listen, during this time, everybody has their phones. Everybody is at home. They are paying attention to their phones. They're watching lives, they're consuming your videos. People are just are blowing up all the lives. They're just watching, watching, watching. So um, what we're telling you guys is to get on Facebook Live, um, get on Instagram Live, do Facebook Live once a day. If you're not quite once a day, do at least three times a week. But what that does is it's really gonna help grow your Facebook page. It's going to begin engagement. And you don't have to necessarily talk about your book, but I would definitely start talking about the subject that you're writing on, um, you know, and then the things that kind of surround that because you're gonna start creating community, creating a buzz, creating conversation, um, and letting people know that you have some credibility in the area that you are writing the book. So when it's time for your book to come out, people realize that, hey, you know what you're talking about. You've established yourself as credible for talking about the subject um, and that you're passionate and excited. So you've created some friends on your page. You've created some traction and excitement. What do you have to say? Good, right? So um, guys, I really encourage you to do Facebook Lives twice a day. Here's why. The algorithm of Facebook changes. So it'll be in someone's feed and then later on it changes. But the reason why you want to start now because 65% more people are online on Facebook at one time. So this is the time you start to push. So mm. you can hold the camera like this, you be in front of your computer, mm. and then I never have a topic. I have no idea what I'm gonna say, and I just flow. Now some of you are planners, maybe do some bullet points, but don't overdo it. Find you know different subject lines that, you know write something. But guess what? This is the number one thing if you start doing this. Do it for 30 days in a row, like nonstop. And here's the second thing. Don't look at the views as affirmation because your affirmation comes from the Lord, not from people. Consistency is what people buy. Yeah. So be consistent. If you're consistent, I remember the Domino's had the best commercial ever. It was like, if we don't deliver the pizza under 30 minutes, it's free. Think about it. it was, then you get your, your wheels turning. So come up with some nice marketing plan. You know, you could text us questions. And then every day do lives, but consistent. Yeah. So I'm gonna—I see all your names here. I'm looking now. I'm, I'm gonna look. I'm taking pictures, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna look for you guys to see if you start to do your lives. We're gonna hold you accountable because if you want, we want to make sure you're successful in what in, in launching your book. It starts today. Yeah. 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 And that, that's, that's really, really good marketing tips for writers and authors. And this is part of the marketing module. This is even part of being a member with unlocking your book. 
where once we help you unlock your book so that you know what it is your God wants you to write, and then you start writing, we want to help you get the message out. What's the point of unlocking the book and then writing the book if you're not going to get the word out, right. right? So you can be a voice in the wilderness. You can be an Elijah, John the Baptist, and you can be that voice and go through that season where you know, you're just in the secret place and you're just in the closet. But at some point, if God gave you the message, the message needs to get out. Yeah. And the message needs to be in a format that people can absorb it and digest it. And we teach you as a writer, as an author, you're penning with heaven. I mean, what's the point, Paul, the apostle, if you're going to write a letter to uh, uh, the, the, the Philippians, right? What's the point if you're going to write a book to the Ephesians? What if, what's the point if you're going to write all of these letters and little, actually, we even talked about they're actually really small. I mean, Romans is less than 10,000 words. The book of James is less than 2,600 words. These are like eBooks. But you take that content and you can take your whole eBook of 100 words, a few thousand words, up to 10,000 words, and splinter off that content and deliver it on Facebook Live. Put it on Instagram TV. You can put it into a blog. You can put it in email. So it's not having to just constantly recreate content. The word, the message that is getting unlocked in you through this process, that message that's on the inside of you, write it. But also what our, our good friends, uh, uh, Lisa and Tommy and their, their dogs are sharing with us today. So is, it's all good. It's all good. Is to get out there and connect with people because connection especially right now, that's currency. That's the currency. I would rather, I would rather really connect like heart to heart connect with people by solving problems on, you know, Facebook live or doing email with people or creating real solutions for people than uh, spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars on ads. I would rather be putting that kind of time and that kind of energy and that kind of resources. And, and Chrissy, I want you to speak into this a little bit because you're, you're really, really good um, at helping people and, and solving problems. But we've said this, we've said this before that marketing isn't closing sales. It's opening up uh, communication. It's opening up conversation and starting the relationship because even as a writer, as an author, people need and want presence more than they need and want your product more than they want just whatever you're selling. So you have the mindset to solve problems. And this is, and this is in real time. And this is, that's cool. You can solve problems in real time. So it's just an encouragement to, to get out there as a writer, get out there as an author, start building your audience and uh, let people connect with you and your presence, right? Your, your, your presence uh, before they start connecting with your product. Chrissy, what are your thoughts? Yeah, you know, I, for me, I can't just do that. I, I agree with it all, but I can't do it for the sake of doing it. So as someone that has like, but yet I have a lot to say. So I have to take that kind of information and go, okay, this is important. I agree with it. So where do I overflow? Like what is inside me that's like I'm busting at the seams just to get out. And when I think on those lines, then I can do all those things. I can do Facebook Live. I can write blog posts or I can put up posts on social media and things because I realize that I am overflowing with something to say. And okay. so when you real when you tap into that as a, as a as a messenger as an ambassador for Christ, you know when you tap into that unique place that you carry you hold with the Lord and then you realize there are outlets for that, then you can then you can do the Facebook lives. Then yeah. then you have that like passion and that thrust. Like I can't do any of it outside of passion. I have to get my heart lined up with this passion point. And when I tap into that and I get there, 
then I take those these valuable tools and I go, I'm going to use this, I'm going to use this, I'm going to get it out this way and that way. I try to make a list to try to have people hold me accountable. And yeah. um, because it is, it's, it's important, but you, you can't do it for the sake of doing it. Um, and that might sound like a no brainer, but everybody's so eager that we can easily slip into doing something for the sake of doing it because it's a good idea, right? But when we're presence driven writers and we're messengers and ambassadors, it's important for us to tap into the advice and link it to the passion and w find your passion point and then just run with it, which is what everybody's saying. But that's the way I like break it down for myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, I appreciate you guys. Thank you, uh, Tommy, Lisa, for joining us. Now, I, I think you guys got a got a skedaddle, but you guys are welcome to stick around for the big reveal. I'm going to here in the next uh, minute or so going to walk you through the entire pre order page template that unlocking your book members get. So, you as a writer and an author, you don't have to build your sales page. You don't have to build your landing page. You don't have to build your pre-order page, any of your ebook page, any of those things. We build it for you. Now, you do have to go through the process. You have to go through the lessons. You have to go through the modules. You have to write the content and all, all of that. You know, Obviously, uh, we put a lot of time and a lot of energy into building this for you. Now, you just have to go through the process and then finish it and write your content for it and you upload it. It's really, really an amazing uh, opportunity to get something that would normally cost you thousands of dollars. So we have built this theme and it's an ongoing theme that we just continue to upgrade and build. Uh, actually, we're doing new things to it every single month. So, uh, hey guys, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for the marketing tips. Appreciate you Thank guys. You. guys <laughs> coming back in uh, 30 seconds for the big reveal. So stay tuned. Here we go. And here we are, the big reveal. This is fun. I'm going to walk you guys through it. Uh, this is an example of what you get. This is this is the actual pre-order page template. The purpose and the reason that you would have a pre-order page template is because uh, you have followed some kind of structure or some kind of a system that allows you to take uh, different parts of your book, your blogs, your articles, your guides, your devotionals, whatever it is that you're writing, the content that you're creating, and then break it down and you're building an audience. So you're doing posts across social media, you're blessing people, you're honoring people, you're ministering to people, you're connecting with people with your content. And then as you have gone through the process and now you're, you're publishing, you're actually publishing your book and it's either getting ready to go to print or it's in print right now. And it's going to be shipped out in the next week or two or three weeks or something of that nature. And you're following that system. And with that particular book launch plan that we introduce you to, you then put up a pre-order page. And this is just an example. Now you'll notice this is Chrissy Nelson. This is her uh, soon upcoming launch of Slaying the Giant of Fear. The book is done. Uh, it actually is in pre-order on Amazon, but this page is we're showing you is an exact uh, template that you get. And this again is just one of them. So you actually get uh, a landing page, a pre-order page, a blog page, an ebook page, and we actually launched the e the Snap Challenge, which is an ebook where you can write uh, a couple hundred words, a few thousand words, or up to ten thousand words, even using the content that you've already written. And you allow people to exchange via transaction on the website that we give you their name, their email, their contact information, so that they can read a chapter or two, or something of that nature. You give them the ebook. You can give them a few hundred words, a few thousand words. Uh, you actually don't even have to write it, but if you haven't started writing your book, you can use the ebook page uh, to write 500 words for 10 days, and all of a sudden, you have a 
5,000 word ebook. Okay. So that's what you get and you get the sales page. So we're unleashing and showing you the example uh, specifically of the pre-order page. So this is the pre-order page and you'll see what we have designed this specifically to Christy Nelson. So let's just walk through this real quick. So up here in the top left hand, actually, you know what, before we do that, Chrissy, do you like this? Um, maybe a little, <laughs> I think I cried a little when I saw it. And, Ow. um, at first happy tears. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. It's sparkly and shiny and crisp and modern and bold. And it just captures everything that I would have hoped for. Yeah. Wow, you cried a little bit. Yeah. This is like a baby. This was a book baby. Yeah. And this was, I mean, this, I had to slay a giant of fear while writing the book, slaying the giant of fear <laughs> big time. Right. Right. And so you just see something like this and it's the, it's the manifestation of the promise, you know, coming together. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. Well, I'm glad that you bawled. I'm glad that you, or you teared up. I'm glad that you teared up. I'm glad that it was a blessing to you. And so yeah. we'll just walk people through this and, and you'll notice when you see the book cover, uh, this is how we're cr helping Chrissy create the uh, congruency uh, of the brand slaying the giant of fear so that when she releases videos, She's doing uh, social media posts. She's doing blogs, her sales page, the pre-order page. Uh, if she decides to do video devotionals, if she decides to do a 21-day devotional, if she does an e-course, any of those things will have this look using the same colors, the same fonts, the same concept to create the congruency all the time throughout the process. And we show you exactly how to do that. Uh, inside of unlocking your book membership. So up here in the top left, you'll see, so this is the logo. It might be a little bit difficult for you to just see, but if you can kind of, maybe you can zoom in on your, your, uh, um, your, uh, whatever you're, you're, you're watching on. Yeah, there you go. You can watch a little bit. So let's see if we can give a, and see that a little bit better. So this is the logo per se, and this is actually the brush stroke and the colors that are on the book, and then the exact same fonts. There's two different fonts here uh, that are being used, one for slaying the, and then, uh, uh, and then the word giant. Those are two different fonts. It's exactly the same on the book. So she can create congruency on any other kind of content that she creates and puts out uh, and she can put it on um, not, not just the book, but she can put it on an ebook. She can put it on Facebook memes. She can put it on videos. And so people start to see the congruency of it consistently over and over and over um, so that when they're, when she's actually launching the pre-order page and when she actually puts it out there for purchase and for sale, people can, they've been made aware and there's a connection there. So it's really a bad idea to have like using a bunch of different fonts. So if you have like multiple fonts, you have one font uh, on your, I'll give you an example. So if you are posting on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram and you're using a particular color, a particular look and a particular feel and a particular font just to post some of the content from your book. And then later down the road, you launch your sales page or you launch your book and it looks completely different. Not that it was a waste of time because you, it was good that you did that. It was good for you to post that content and get that out there. But, you know, my marketing background says make it congruent so that P you're taking people on this journey and then there's a connection rather a, than a disconnection. So you're posting on social media all of this stuff and then all of a sudden you launch the book. You say, hey, guys, my book is for sale and there's no connection. And it's even worse if you're using completely different look, completely different style, and then you send people to your pre-order page or your ebook page or your sales page or any of those types of things or an e-course and they don't match. It's a uh, psychological mental disconnect when they go to that page, okay? So we show you how to keep that congruency. 
All right, so let's move right along. Over here on the right hand, you can see up here in the top, that's the pre-order button. And this is really, really key. You'll notice that this is a sticky menu. Sticky menu just means that this is gonna follow them all the way to the very bottom of the page. Why? Because you have one call to action. What's your call to action? Pre-order. You're asking them to pre-order the book. You're asking them to um, actually spend money and purchase something, get out their credit card, debit card, and pre-order the book before it ships. And what another thing that I see a lot of people do, a lot of mistakes of people, and Chrissy, I want you to just, you know, if you could chime in a little bit on this, is the mistake of having multiple calls to action. Before you write your sales page, build your site, whatever, you need to know what you're calling people to action. Because if you don't call people to action, guess what? They don't take action. So you call them to action. And what a lot of us have done in the past, uh, I've seen it do, you know, with my background in marketing, is you have too many calls to action. I personally don't like to see more than one primary and one secondary call to action. But when it's a sales page, or in this case, and really this, even though it's not the sales page, it's the pre-order page, because eventually what happens is this page will morph. When it's, when it's full on, we're no longer in pre-order uh, category or season or scenario, that totally morphs and changes to a sales page. But people are still getting out their credit card, debit card, and they're buying this. They're paying for this specifically. So the mistake that some of us make is we have more than one call to action. So I see people on here, they'll put, oh, watch this video. Oh, go check out my Facebook page. Oh, go to Twitter, you know, or hey, go check out my blog. So what is it that you actually want them to do? Do you want them to pre-order or not? So if that is the outcome, the desired outcome, that's the objective to get them to pre-order, then just solidify it to one call to action. The only way I would put a secondary call to action, and it would be secondary, would be if somebody's not quite ready to pre-order to allow them maybe to download a chapter or to get something for free because you don't want them to just leave. You want to give them something. But in most cases, if you've done a really good job uh, through the process, I would not even put a second call to action. One call to action. And the other idea is, You've already put them to sent them to your ebook page. They've already downloaded your ebook. They've they've uh, gone this journey with you. So really, one call to action, and that is to pre-order or buy now or something of that nature. So, Chrissy, your thoughts on that? Yeah, just that. That I mean, that right there is the information that authors need. Like that that was so such an area of confusion for me. I never would have thought that having a button to give people to my Facebook page or watch a video was a, considered a call to action. So the fact that you're breaking that down for people, for me, I'm getting aha moments because I'm over here trying to write the book and you're helping simplify all this whole process, which is massive because this was such an area of overwhelm for me. It has been for years. Um, do I have a landing page? Do I just have a website? Do I just have a sales page? What's the purpose of a landing page? What's the difference with a landing page and a pre-order page? And why do you have that? And mm -hmm. the, you're clarifying all that for people. And it's clear, you know, I'm getting clarity even as I listen mm -hmm. over and over myself. So this is major. You're helping us focus. So this is a focused pre-order page. There's one call to action pre-order the book. That is the goal. That's the objective. That's the aim. And it's all designed around that focus. And it's, and that's so important. Yep. And, um, yeah. Yeah. And don't make people think, right? Make it simple for people. Don't make people think what it is that you want them to do. They need to know and they need to see and they need to be able to hear very quickly without a lot of thought process exactly what you want them to do. So if you have more calls to action, you confuse them. And as the saying goes, you confuse them, you lose them. So 
What do you want them to do? That's your call to action. Start with your call to action and then work back, uh, work backwards so that you can take them through that process. And you don't have to, you know, you can do a long page, uh, we, you know, long copy, short copy. This is very, very short. But the idea here is for someone that has done a good job in connecting with people, you're, this is going to be like your low hanging fruit. So your 10%, your 15% of people, some new relationships that you have started to formulate across social media, uh, electronically, digitally, all of that. And so we have one question here, Joe says, uh, and we actually go over this in the mentoring and we go over this in the publishing, but the question is, do you give the ebook free of charge? So, uh, you know, yes, I would. Um, eventually as you grow your audience and if you're putting out like an ebook a month, you might be able to turn that into something that's a resource, you know, where you're selling an ebook for, you know, three, four, five bucks or something of that nature. But if you're a first time writer or you've written just a couple and, you know, you really haven't sold, you know, more than what most authors that publish more than just a few hundred books and you're trying to to take off that lid and go past that and you're also trying to reach more people and minister to more people the idea of giving the ebook for free is so that you can build an audience your ideal readers and start connecting with people it's the whole solve a problem before you sell a product and that ebook can be a few hundred words or a few thousand words, or up to 10,000 words. And some people might take your entire, uh, like you might take your whole book and give away one chapter. That's okay to do to do as well, and you can call that your ebook. But we cover that in the marketing modules. Christy, did you have a, you had a thought, you had a question? Yeah, and just to clarify, when we, just, when we talk about an ebook, we're not talking about your 50,000 word book in the electronic Kindle version, yeah. we're talking about unique content, maybe something pulled out of your your book and repurposed with a different unique um, set of action items and um, activations for as a standalone, its own ebook. That's, yeah. you know, just to clarify for anybody out there that may be wondering, we're not talking about your main, your whole book the electronic version of it being given away for free. No, that's a Kindle version that you sell. You sell it on Amazon. This yep. is something unique and it's a great way to, um, to give your content away and get people familiar with who you are and what you have to say. Absolutely. And we do, uh, we're going to be doing a big reveal on the ebook page as well, but that won't start until uh, next week. All right. So just moving right along. So you can just see, we've got the headline, the headline is slaying the giant of fear. That's the name of the book, a uh, new book from Chrissy Nelson. And then you can see the subtext down here. I'm sure if you can see that here a little bit, just to give you an idea. Hold on. Oops. You guys see that? I'm trying to if I can make it a little bit bigger. All right, so that's the subtext there, releasing the roar of breakthrough. And again, this is on the website. So, or excuse me, this is on our book. So you're not having to work really, really hard to create your pre-order page. You've written the book. You have everything you need. You know, all the content that you would need for your website or a landing page or a sales page or pre-order page is in your book. It's right there. You've already written, you've actually written all <laughs> the content that you need for your website. So you don't have to overthink this. You just have to learn how to curate. All right, let's move right along. Notice again, the, the sticky menu, the pre-order part stays with you the whole time. Um, I do want to just bring to attention this fade. Uh, so you, you want to, you know, I think that this should be a picture of the author. Uh, I like the idea in this case, especially if you're a brand new writer and a brand new author, you don't always have to make yourself the, uh, hero image in this case. Sometimes you can flip that and you can use somebody else's, uh, not picture per se, but you can use a stock photo or something like that. But I really like the idea of building your personal brand. And when you're launching your book, pre-ordering your book, that people get to see your face. And if you've done Facebook lives and you've done some social media and you put some things out there, you should be putting your face back there because people buy from people. And I really like the way that this fades so that it makes this headline really, really pop. 
it would be difficult with this picture if we didn't have the fade. And again, uh, you know, uh, through unlocking your book membership, we show you how to do all that. All right, moving down to the next section, and I won't take much time on this. So this section right here, this little um, uh, bar here, just shows a reinforcement of where you can buy it on Amazon, Barnes & Noble. Uh, since this book is getting published with Chosen Books, there would be a Chosen Books you know, logo. It would probably be another logo created for the Impossible uh, TV show, this, that, and the other. That's very simple, very easy to do. So if you publish with our publisher, you would put – uh, you know, you would put our publishing logo on there. You would put Amazon, maybe somebody that endorsed your book. All right. So here's section two. And again, you keep seeing throughout this process, you keep seeing the logo slaying the giant of fear on the left, the sticky menu up at the top, right to pre-order because that's the call to action. And notice Again, in section two, you still have the exact same call to action pre-order. And now you could emphasize it a little bit, pre-order now. This content that's on this page now shows a picture of the book. So you can see the, right here, you can see the font. Let's get this a little bit bigger. If you guys can, whoops, all right, hold on. Oh, I just gave away the big reveal. My whole page just changed. Hold on. <laughs> That wasn't very nice. Okay. Here's a big picture of the book. So you can see that looks like the logo. It's the same fonts. And this is actually uh, this is actually what her book looks like. Christy Nelson, author of Created for the Impossible, Slaying the Giant of Fear, Releasing the Roar of Breakthrough. We show you how to do a mock-up like this. Let's see what happens when I start messing with the Zoom. We, we show you how to do a mock-up of your book. This actually, once you've done the design and everything, you can do this in about five minutes. Uh, and there are multiple mock-ups that we show you how to do uh, just like this. But this is content. All of this headline and these bullet points are all taken directly from Chrissy's book. So you take um, like... Uh, a major theme, a major takeaway, something that creates the conversation for them. You're helping them immediately figure out what's going to happen if I buy this book. Where am I going to go? What's the journey she's taking me on? What do I get? What's life going to look like? It's the before state, after state. So this line, overcome the fear that has been dominating you is specifically from her book. You just take that and that becomes a headline. And then you've got the bullet points down here at the bottom, four bullet points. And it doesn't have to be four. It can maybe be, um, you know, you know, two or three or four. I really like the three to five because if you give people too much, they just kind of going to glance over it. You don't want to put everything on here. Too much is too much. People get lost, people get confused, um, and, and really it's just sometimes can be just really, really boring. Now, you know, if it was a, a higher priced item, you know, if you're selling the book for 10, 15, 20, 25 dollars, you know, it's okay to keep things simple. If somebody's spending like five hundred dollars, thousand dollars, you know, if they're spending a high ticket item, different. You're going to want to communicate more because they're want they're spending more, so they're going to want to know more. But in this case, this is more than enough. And so we list out four things that are directly from the book. Learn to run boldly towards freedom. Learn how to posture yourself for victory. Learn what to do when fear gets the upper hand and learn how to release the roar of breakthrough. So this could be, you could change this to, you could use the word discover. You could use the word uh, um, uh, unlock. You could word, you know, uh, use a different word here for these points, but all of these points are specifically taken from the book. Those exact words are inside the book. Talk a little bit about that, Chrissy, because this is this is your book. This is your content. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm looking at it like, oh yeah, yep, that's in there, that's in there. You know, some of those are chapters, um, and some of those are outcomes of the chapter. You know, learning to run boldly toward freedom. We do that. You, we learn that through the life of David and, um, and how he, when he cut off the head of the giant, it, it freed up the entire army to run. They surged forward and they ran boldly toward their freedom into their promised land. 
Um, learn how to posture yourself for victory. We learn that in one of the chapters. Um, learn what to do when fear gets the upper hand. Um, don't let fear get the upper hand is chapter two of the book. And then learn how to release the word breakthrough. That's carried through the entire book. That that whole that is the desired outcome of the entire book. Not only to slay the giant of fear, but to ha release our roar of breakthrough. There's these two things that happen simultaneously. One happens as a result of the other. We slay the giant and our roar is released through us. And um, so I, I see that and I think, yes, I, that is absolutely what I would want people to bullet point, see as promises, offers, you know, um, for, you know, when they would, pre, you know, to pre-order now to, to pick up a copy of the book. Makes me want to read it. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so this is just, a, you know, this is just a way for us to kind of take out the guesswork for you. And, you know, something like this when, you know, you feel like, man, this is so huge. It's so massive. You know, I went through the process of unlocking my book. I went through the process of writing my book. I went through the process of editing and publishing my book. And, you know, you're not done, right? You need to promote the book and get the word out. And we wanted to remove the guesswork and make it more simple. So we created this theme and as well as other themes. And this is just an example. And I'll give you one more thing uh, specific to this is you'll notice down here where it says pre-order now, this is again, the call to action underneath the, in parentheses, it says immediate download plus video. Now you don't have to do this, but again, the idea is, is you're asking people to spend money and pre-order something so they don't get it immediately. It's a real benefit if you can give them something. And what we do in this case is we would actually, once they click the pre-order now button, they put in their contact information, they go ahead and they make the payment. It will automatically redirect them to a thank you and welcome page. In the thank you and welcome page, you can, but you don't have to. You can have a video right there of you. You as the writer, as the author, we recommend it, but you don't have to. You can use just copy. You could just say thank you, appreciate your purchase, and then you give them uh, some connection because, again, this is online. And so they're not walking into the store, giving you their card, and you're able to give them the product in the bag. Here's the receipt. You're having to treat it like it's brick and mortar online. They need the same customer support. They need the same, they need to feel really, really good about the process. So once they purchase, it takes them to a welcome thank you page. You thank them for what they've done. And then you give them direction, like check your email. Here's the download. And you can do that in a video. Now in this, there's also, for example, Chrissy would say something like, Hey, I want to thank you so much for buying my book, Slaying the Giant of Fear. I'm excited about you learning to run boldly towards freedom and learning how to posture yourself for victory. If you will click the button below, you can download and it could be like the first chapter or second chapter because you're wanting to give them something immediately and quickly while they're waiting to get their book. You could also at this time give them part of an e-course. So if Chrissy was going to do an e-course, maybe a four-part, six-part e-course that you might sell later for $50 or $100, you could give them part of that e-course and say, hey, I just want to thank you while you're waiting for your book to show up. Here is a 10-minute, uh, 15-minute devotional or part of my e-course. This is, you know, uh, you know, module number one or lesson number one. So you give them something immediately. I really believe this is key uh, to making people feel secure and for you to reinforce what you're doing because it is pre-order. Give them something immediately. It could be a chapter. It could be a welcome video. It could be part of an e-course. But this is really, really powerful to reinforce the relationship, to reinforce the connection that you're giving with them. And you don't have to do it exactly like this. Again, this is a template. So you can change the bullet points. You can change the call to action and you can change what you give them immediately. But I really like this as a concept. And we do cover this in the modules three and the modules four. We cover, cover this in the uh, mentoring. We also cover this in the publishing. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is so helpful to be given these very clear ideas of this is what you can put here. This is what it can look like. And um, as an author, when you're overwhelmed, you know, you've got tens of thousands of words to hone in and make things concise has always been challenging. You know, writing the book was, you know, one thing. And then to think about all this. So to be given a template and, um, you know, a framework is, is massive. I mean, that's like, you can just breathe a little <laughs> as an author. You can go, okay, this is, and it's, and it's done with such excellence too, which is over and beyond. So to learn how to do this, I would just say, I mean, I, I can't even believe that we just get to give everybody that within the membership. It's unreal. Such a blessing. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be awesome to see how people kind of choose their own adventure. You know, know. am I going to do an e-course? Am I going to give them this download? I mean, you get to stay in the creative process. This again is just a template and you get multiple templates and we give you multiple ideas. And as soon as module three, which is the marketing that starts next week is over when that's complete and we move into module four, uh, I'll be starting uh, I'll be, I'll be starting the, uh, the pitch live. And what the pitch live is, is I will line people up. You that are a writer and author, let you come on and spend 10 to 15 minutes with me and literally pitch your book and help you unlock some thoughts and some ideas, which normally I'm just going to share. People would spend, um, some bucks to, to be able to do that. They would, sp- I have people that I'm on retainer with and they spend thousands of dollars to keep me on a monthly retainer to help them navigate those types of things. So for unlocking your book, you can come on and you can pitch your thought and your idea, spend 10 minutes, 15 minutes. We're going to talk side by side, face to face on a video and help you navigate some thoughts and ideas based upon where you want to go, what you're doing, your content in your book, your comfort level, because some of the things that you see me do or Chrissy do or other people do is not for you. You need to find what works for you, but, but not be afraid to grow, not be afraid to evolve. You have to be your own advocate. You have to get behind your book and your brand and really, you got to be the preacher. Right. If you were a pastor of a church, you owned a business, you're the mom and the dad, you got the, you are you got to lead that thing. So you can't just lean on everything else and lean on everyone else and everything else. You got to get behind it. But really excited that when we're done with module number three, we'll be opening that up. Uh, it'll be pitch live and it's going to be fun. It's going to be that's in addition to the, the live show. So think so look at this page that we've done so far. This is yours, right? I want you to picture the title of your book. What's the title of your book, right? And I want you to picture your logo. And I want you to picture your picture. And I want you to picture where it says new book from your first last name, your headline, your subtext. This is what it looks like. This is what it feels like. And you'll be able to do this. It might seem like, oh my gosh, so overwhelming. But I literally walk you through this whole process. You'll know exactly what, when I get done with you, you'll know exactly what to put on this headline. You'll know exactly what to put on these bullet points to reinforce what they're going to get. You'll know exactly how to do the book mock-up and all of that. All right. Now here is where, what I call the reinforcement section. The reason that we do the reinforcement section is, again, because you're asking somebody to spend money on something they're not getting right away. They're not walking into the bookstore. They're not walking into retail. They're not walking into the brick and mortar, paying the money and getting it and walking away with it. It's not even at this point, it's not even Amazon. They're going to have it at their doorstep or in their mailbox in a few days. It is pre-order. Spend money before you get the product. And this is an important part of the process because it will teach you a lot. People will, you'll learn a lot about your own process, but it's really also important to see how you're doing in your communication skills before you launch your book. A lot of people make the mistake. I think it's a mistake to 
just write the book and then just throw it out there. And every day, two or three times your day, you're like, buy my book, buy my book, buy my book. And people aren't buying your book. It's like crickets and you sell a couple of books. Um, and then your low hanging fruit, which is a small part of people that follow you, 10% of your, your opportunity, they buy it because grandma so-and-so loves you, you know, cousin so-and-so loves you, uh, your brother loves you and, you know, or your best friend from school or whatever, you know, they're buying your book. It's the low hanging fruit people that you really worked with and, you know, done life with, and maybe some coworkers, they're buying your book. But what about the 80% of the people out there that don't know you yet? So if you're doing a good job and getting your content out there that we show you how to do, um, the pre-order process is actually kind of fun. You wake up the next day and you're like, oh my gosh, I sold 10 books while I was sleeping. People bought this book. Oh my gosh, now I'm up to 20. Now I'm up to 30. And so it gets really fun. It gets really exciting. But this is a reinforcement process. This is That's what this section is where it says pre-order and get exclusive extras. Because of the pre-order paying before they get, you give them some kind of exclusive extra. And I give you a full list. I'll give you a list of 20 plus extras that you can do and you pick and choose. I recommend that you put at least three and not more than six or seven extras because if it gets it's too much. It's too much work for you. And you don't want it to be something that you weren't already planning to do, or that's not simple for you to do. So the pre-order get exclusive extra reinforces what you're doing, reinforces the connection, reinforces the relationship. So what we've done on this one for Chrissy is if you pre-order, you get exclusive extra, you get early access to the first three chapters before the book releases they realize they're not going to get that book for a few weeks, maybe three weeks, four weeks, something of that nature. So you give them the first three chapters in an ebook, PDF, electronic, digital format immediately. You remember this process up here where it says immediate download? That's what you're going to give them. Early access, and you could even put immediate. People love that. Immediate access to the first three chapters. It could be one chapter. It could be two. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do more than three. But immediate access to one chapter, two chapters, three chapters before the book releases. That means once they pay and they go to the thank you page, they go to the welcome page, you're either the copy or in a video is going to say thank you so much. Click the button below to download the first chapter, second chapter, third chapter, whatever, before the book releases. The second exclusive extra is exclusive live stream Q&A with Chrissy. So that means you're going to put somewhere on the calendar. And again, this is pick and choose, choose your own adventure. You're going to get a big long list of all of the different things. Um, you, you can create a live stream where you maybe for an hour or two hour, you do a live Q&A only with the people that have purchased or pre-ordered your book. And that's fun. You can do it on Zoom. You can do it in a Facebook group. You could use free conference, uh, freeconferencecall.com. You could do all these different types of things to do a live call or do a live stream where it's exclusive to the people that purchase and exclusive to people uh, that did a pre-order and you put it right there on the, on the calendar. Number three, you give them a discount code. And this is an example for the slain the giant of fear e-course. So if Chrissy was going to do a four part e-course or eight part e-course or something of that nature that she's going to sell later or bundle with this book. So if she does do it, she could do the book, the guide and the course for, you know, $50 or a hundred dollars or, or something of that nature. So if she does that, then give them a discount code, give them 30% off or 50% off for the whole bundle or for the e-course. Number four, slaying the giant of fear, 21 day devotional. And again, this is, I just, you know, we just put this on there by text where you take content from the existing book. You can send it in an email. You can put it in post. You can put it in a group. You can send it to people by text. There's lots of different programs and software that you can use. How cool would that be to gather people's phone number when they're in pre-order process and you send them a devotional of your book and all you're doing is taking out content from the book. That's it. That's all. Really, really simple. Um, really, really simple to do. All right. Number two, or excuse me, number five, the last one access to the book, uh, pre-order Facebook, uh, group. So you could create a Facebook group 
And inside that Facebook group, just for pre-orders. So you could call it your you know, pre-order uh, Facebook launch group or something of that nature. And for three weeks or four weeks, or maybe you keep it, you're just connecting with people and you're talking with people and you're sharing with people and you're connecting with people. So these are just some thoughts and some ideas. And again, I give you uh, like over 20 different extras that you can give people. These are just some thoughts for you, giving you some ideas. All right. And then again, what do we have? What is this? Call to action. Same call to action. The next one, this is really simple. This is just your bio. So you can write, um, you know, a 50 word bio or 150 word story or something of that nature. Uh, it would be nice if you can get the pictures to match. If you look at this picture, you'll notice that that picture mirrors and that uh, you use what you have and get them later. Maybe get somebody to take your iPhone, go take 10 pictures or, you know, something like that that but get something that is uh, congruent to the look and that you can use over and over uh, as such and this is just very simple this is taken from her website you just put your bio in there and this is the this is the only other place you have any other type of navigation in here and you don't have to do it but you can send people from here you'll notice down here right here for more details about what Chrissy does and you know she's a mom she's a wife she's an author she's a speaker she's a TV host all of those things you can uh, put your website your main website in there but I'm not a big fan of having something else there I actually like one navigation one call to action don't distract people all right, and here is some more ways to reinforce what you're doing. Uh, and I'll have Chrissy just talk a little bit about this. Is all you're doing is you're just asking people that um, you know to give you uh, a testimonial. Maybe these are uh, endorsements for your book. These are people that you know. It's low hanging fruit. People that you work with. Someone is giving you so proof someone has given you some kind of affirmation and it becomes a reinforcement of the book so they've read the book they've read part of the book maybe they've read the, the entire manuscript and they are reinforcing and giving a recommendation for other people this can be at least three have at least three but you could have you know seven eight nine ten people on here uh we've just got a few people uh you have a picture of them and then you have just, you know, it could be 25, 50 words, doesn't have to be extraordinary of people that have read the manuscript, read the book. This is important, again, to create that social proof because people do want to know what have other people gotten from the book. Now, I will say this. Don't just get people that um, have a platform or are an influencer. Because most of the people, this is why I like the difference between an endorsement and social proof. Get people that aren't necessarily an influencer or necessarily a writer or an author. And you can do this when you give out your ebook. So when you do like the snap challenge, the ebook challenge, you launch your ebook, let's say a hundred people download your ebook. You ask them to give you, give some feedback positive, negative, whatever, give the good, the bad, the ugly, but get, and, and then when you, as you get that feedback, you just can use that on your website. But I really like the idea. I think it's very powerful to show everyday regular people that aren't a writer. They're not an author. They're not a minister. They don't have any kind of platform and they're a mom, they're a dad, you know, they're, they're just, they go to work. They have a, you know, just, they're great people and they've read your ebook and they've been really, really blessed by it. So get some social proof. That's why the ebook is really, really important, that process. And you can have people and ask people, um, you know, these are all writers and authors for the most most part. Now these guys, um, you know, and these guys I think are a great example. They're friends of Chrissy, Kevin and Mary Wells. So they're founders of a ministry, but you can just use everyday, wonderful, loving people. And it can be somebody like a stay at home mom. It can be a business executive. It can be a friend from church. It can be, it can be a family member, but definitely want to get that social proof. This is an important part of the process.
Now I'll show you this. Uh, this is the last thing at the very, very bottom. We're going to be adding a couple more sections to the pre-order page. Uh, and this section actually is not done, but this is navigational and directional to show people um, uh, exactly what you want them to do. So you want them to know and give them direction. What is it that they should do once they pre-order? And now this section, I'm not, we're not done with it. We're actually going to be adding a couple of things. So as an example, uh, we're going to put some uh, black circles right here. We'll make the number one gold, you know, this yellow, this orange, same here. We'll put a circle here just to kind of make it, uh, you know, stand out and pop a little bit. And then I like putting uh, pictures and graphics and design of exactly what is the thing that you're telling them to do. So pre-order, what would I put under here? I would put another picture of the book. Now, it might not be the exact same look and feel of the other mock-up, but I would put something there. And I would probably put in there, uh, like if it were, if I was going to be giving them the ebook, I'd put a picture of that. If I was going to be giving them a couple of chapters, I would put in there so they can see what happens when they pre-order. So I would be adding here what they're getting when they pre-order a actual picture of it and you're taking them through the steps here's three steps to begin your journey and then down here i would put a picture of you know probably a laptop with a, a, a device or something where they can see what the bonus looks like and then a place to log in so again they can visually see what it looks like when they pre-order, visually see what it looks like to log in and download the bonus. And then number three, and this is just, you know, you, you put a date, hey, uh, check your email. And actually, you wouldn't put check your email August 3rd. We'll be adding that. Uh, check your emails uh, for important information so that when the book is released on such and such a date, such and such a time. And in this case, August 3rd, uh, they can see that. So that would be the changes that I would be doing on this. This is the last part of the navigation, giving them direction, three steps to begin your journey. When you pre-order, this is what it looks like. Then you're going to log in and download your bonus and then check your email. Chrissy, thoughts, ideas, revelations, comments. <laughs> Yeah, I just think of, um, you know, I have spent years working on, I've bought themes for websites. I built my current website. I built that. Um, it's a theme. And I just remember scouring through and I would see all these options for like real estate agents. And here's a theme that works for a real estate agent. Here's a theme that works for like a photographer, lots of photography driven themes. And um, I remember thinking one time, I wish there was a theme. I caught on that. Oh, these are themes because it's based on the the common needs for that industry. And then things are settings are built in there that you can then customize to your your um, your business, your specific business within that industry. And I thought, I wish there was one for authors, you know, and the unique needs for an author. And um, and that's what this is. This is one of those. This is a unique theme. For an author based on the needs or that authors have current very current real-time needs that we want to be creating content we want to have blogs we want to have e-courses we want to be doing um you know and in this case this is a pre-order page so everything that would be necessary for that pre-order process um having your own logo having the color be unique to the color of your book being able to customize all of that um, it's just incredible. It's so specific. It's exactly what is needed for an author who has a book, who has a message. Um, and it, it walks you through. It's a, it's a clear blueprint. This, this would be easy. I mean, you, I'm so glad you did this. <laughs> but if I was going in and filling this in, I'm like, okay, I feel like I could breathe. You've given a real framework to work within. Um, mm -hmm. I love what you said about the social proof or the the endorsements and things like that i remember you know my friend kyle is actually the one and he's one of the mentors in our in our course our mentoring um but he was he was saying that that's important to have on there just people and more more endorsing you like as a speaker and a your life and so that's what those were from 
and then you can customize and put endorsements that are actually specific to your book. And um, I still have yet to see those come in for Slaying the Giant of Fear because people are currently writing those. Uh, so that'll right. be fun to put those in. And, uh, and so this is just, I can't even express it enough that what we've, what we've done here I mean, I spent eight years <laughs> realizing, coming to the conclusion that this was like the biggest pain point. The book part, I, I could do because I'm, I'm an author. That's what I'm called to. I'm called to write a book. And even though that seems like a mountain, this is like one of those unassuming mountains in the author world, in the book world, that all of a sudden you're faced with once you write your book. It's like, oh, and I have to do that? It's like having a child. And you right. like, you know, you're going to have this baby, but then all the things that you're faced with afterwards, like the post giving birth, like, oh, wait, no one talks about that pain point. <laughs> no mm -hmm. one talks about recovery time or no one talks about certain aspects, insert your own that yeah. hasn't been talked about. And that to me is this with this process. So mm -hmm. this is just incredible that we are able to give this to people. Thank you, Jeremiah, for what you carry and what you, what you are bringing to the table and what you're offering to people for pennies, you know? I mean, there, but yet there's value put into it. But I mean, this is, this is a gift for, yeah. for the authors out there that are writing their book, that are unlocking their book. Yep. It's incredible. Yeah. It's... Um... It's important that we help people get their message out. Mm -hmm. We need now words. We need encouragement. We need exhortation. We need, we need people that are writing from the presence. And we need those, we don't need those books out in a year or two. We need them now. We need, and we need those people sharing now. And this is part of our help and part of our process to give people um, real support, very tangible support. Now we have all of our modules, module one, two, three, and then four. Uh, we have all of our mentoring lessons, 37 mentoring lessons. We have the six lessons of the mechanics, the six lessons of marketing. And then as a member, you get a new lesson every single month, but we can't just tell people what to do and why to do it, but actually show them how. And that's why that's part of the unlocking your process. Now, the idea mm -hmm. here is not for you to learn how to become a marketer but you definitely want to think in the concept and in the arena of being able to start curating and splintering content. Now, even when some of you, you're, you're looking at like this whole page and you're thinking, well, that seems overwhelming. No, you don't understand. You don't understand. We've taken out the guesswork. And what is overwhelming is if you go do a self publishing, you're going to have to go build a website or just plan on selling, you know, a couple of hundred books. So you, this, it's more overwhelming to go through the other process of trying to figure out how to do this. You know, you could go somewhere like Fiverr or somewhere and get somebody to build something like this for you or whatever, but then you have to tell them where to put it, how to design it, the colors, all of, you still have to do all of those things. So this is, actually less hassle, way less expensive. You would spend much, much more time, much more money if you were going to do self-publishing. Now, if God calls you to self-publish, then, then you can go, go self-publish. There's no, nothing wrong with that. But this is, as the pre-order page, you have everything in the book that you've written. The book that you, even if you've only written a chapter or two or three, you have everything you need to put out your pre-order page. You have everything you need to do social media marketing. You have everything you need to put up an ebook page and to put out blogs and start connecting with people. But you have to sit with the lamb, 
unlock the book and you have to write. You have to write. If you, this doesn't work if you're not writing. Mm -hmm. If you're not writing, it's not going to work. But if you're writing as simple as seven minutes a day, we have a seven minute uh, challenge, 15 minutes a day, 30 minutes a day, an hour a day. If you're writing a few hundred words, this is how we, 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 we overthink it and we overcomplicate this. The book, uh, uh, the 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 book of uh, James, right? The book of James in the Bible is like the perfect idea, the perfect amount of words for an ebook. It's twenty six hundred words, right? The book of Song of Solomon, uh, Philippians, Ephesians. These are not like thousands and thousands of words. Just a few thousand, three, a few thousand words make up Ephesians or the book of Philippians or the book of Song of Songs or the book of James. So you have to write. And if you're writing as little as a few hundred words or 500 words or even a thousand words a day, you are writing a book. And you can do that. Uh, 500 words at the, in the end in 10 days is 5,000 words. Or do it for 20 and you have 10 thousand words so you can do it but you have to write that's the process but don't overthink it and don't overcomplicate it just write just write sit with the lamb let him unlock you and get into that secret place and forget everything else and just get into his presence and seek his face and listen to his voice and come out of that place and write like a madman or man, woman, just write from his presence and write from the overflow. And don't worry about the landing pages and the sales pages and social media marketing, all of that kind of stuff. You just, but you have to write. And then as you write, right, as you write that book, everything that's in the book, uh, one page, one chapter, two pages, three chapters, four, whatever it is, that becomes everything else. And you use that for your video and your landing page and your pre-order page, all of that. And this is all inside of your membership. Let us do what we're good at, which is helping getting you unlocked and then providing these resources. And I want to clarify uh, one, one, a couple of things. This pre-order page is for anyone that is an unlocking your book mentoring member. So if you signed, if you already signed up and joined unlocking your book, this is yours. You get this and you get, you get more than that. We actually give you uh, just as a mentoring member, you get a landing page, this one pre-order page, a blog page, an ebook page, and you get a sales page. You get all of that. And they look just like this. It's, it's, it's beautiful like this. And then we, I'll take you through the whole process on, on how to do it. And when you're actually doing it, I created a form that you answer. So I do a video and we talk about headlines. We talk about call to action. We talk about flow. We talk about creating questions and answering questions and answering the asking questions and answering those questions. And I do a little tiny video and then you go in and you, I ask you a question and you write the headline and then you write the subtext and then you write the call to action. And all of this goes on to your website. Now, beyond just the mentoring level, so we have the Unlocking Your Book mentoring membership, and then we have the publishing membership that launches on the 31st. We have over 100 people that are publishing their book with us, with our, with our publisher. And you get more than just what you're seeing today. We actually are going to be giving you a digital course page, uh, a membership website where people can actually become a member. So you can create as many digital courses as you want and you get, and then you get more content with that is specific to publishing. But what we're showing you right now, this is for anyone that is a member of unlocking your book. Uh, and we're going to keep evolving this and keep growing this. I mean, we'll be adding more things to it. It's a theme. So like some of you need to start a podcast. You want to start a podcast. We show you how to do that. Uh, and for some of you that are going to, you know, publish a couple of times a year or at least once 
to two times a year. Uh, we actually have some upgrade marketing services for people that were, well, some of our team will, you know, do social media management for you and things like that. But I got distracted. So anyway, you can uh, get started with us. Very excited. We're looking forward to launching all of this. It's going to be really awesome. It's going to be really amazing. Um, let's see. Renee asked the question, where do we go to publish or is it too late? So Renee, if you're already an Unlocking Your Book member, we actually have a call tonight at 7 o'clock. And uh, that is a publishing call. Uh, or if you did the, uh, you uh, saved your spot. We had over 100 people to save their spot. So Renee, if you're already an Unlocking Your Book member, you can just go into the exclusive private group and you can see the phone number and call in tonight. That's at six o'clock central. And I'm going to be doing a live call. You can ask questions, but I'm going to be covering the whole process. Uh, and if somebody is not a member, if you're not a member, then you just go to unlocking your book and you can, you can join us. It's real simple. It's real easy. So we've created a way for you to get published with a real publisher using a pay as you go and subscription model. So, all right. Well, this has been uh, this has been a lot. Um, it's been it's been fun. We've been on here for a while, but really, really excited. Awesome to have everybody. Chrissy, any closing thoughts? Do you do you want to just cry right here on camera? You can. Maybe a little, yeah. Maybe possibly. Did you get to the big, 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 small reveal? Was it the whole fullness of the whole page because you built up and then you said you gave it away, and then did you give it away? Yeah, that this is so the big okay. reveal. The big reveal is that you get the landing page, the pre-order okay. page, the blog page, the ebook page, and the sales page. But we're giving showing you today what the pre-order page is exactly. That's what we just went through yeah. and, and over. So this is the little itty bitty smidgen of the big reveal. So we'll be. Uh, eventually we'll show the blog, we'll show the ebook page, we'll show the sales page. And if you're an unlocking your book member, then we actually take you through the exact marketing schedule and calendar, how you can go through this process uh, of unlocking the book. So really excited and feel free okay. to join us on the live call as we talk about publishing tonight. Mm -hmm. Amazing. And you can join us in the membership if you haven't signed up yet and you're watching this like, Am I missing out? You're right on time. You can just jump right in Absolutely. at unlockingyourbook.com and join the family, <laughs> join the community. <laughs> yeah. And hey, if you're a member, would you, if you're, if you're already an Unlocking Your Book member, would you um, just make a comment and let people know what you think? What, what, let us know what you think about the pre order page. But also, would you leave a uh, leave other people a comment? What you think about being a member? Has it helped you? Has it confused you? Has it been hard? Has it been difficult? Has it been amazing? And just you know, leave us your thoughts. We really want to know your feedback. So, all right, people, we love you. We appreciate you. God bless. We will see you on the flip. Mm -hmm.